Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video, back again on my main account playing Warships. We made some progress since last time, actually we made a lot of progress. So, I got my last, in no not my last engine room, I got my sixth engine room, and currently I'm saving up for my SEMO, because everyone knows the SEMO is very overpowered, and I think very rare people grab the damage amplifier, or I doubt anyone grabs the boom surprise. But the SEMO is definitely the best prototype out of these. Mainly because a lot of people are going to start doing smoky warrior rushes. And having SEMOs is going to be able to stop that. And the reason I know that is because Optistroy has been using warriors. And he was able to hit legendary 10 a couple days ago. And just crushing it. So I'm going to start focusing, start pouring my on, my upgrade tokens into warriors. Upgrading my warriors. And then over here we're going to try to push for bullet. And we're just gonna get that popping. I think I spent some. Um, oh yeah, so I spent a bunch of tokens maxing out my building health, 50% now. My troop health, 50%. My building damage, which is 40%, and then my troop damage, which is also 40%. So I think all of my upgrade tokens for now on will go to maxing out warriors, and then my unlock tokens will go to unlocking that top row of defenses. Okay, so me and this player have similar base designs. I'm just going to try and push and try to grab this one engine room sitting right here in the middle. Just because, actually, if I push and I take down the Doom Cannons, if I can take down the Doom Cannons, I'll be fine. If I go from the bottom here and work my way up, I feel like that's the best plan. I think I'm going to bring a boat of riflemen to combat this initial blast of Doom Cannon Madness. And then drop my rest of my troops. And we'll watch that unfold. Let's take down this rocket launcher. We're also gonna take down that rocket launcher. Just because those are two rocket launchers I don't want to worry about later on. And we'll see how that goes. We'll activate Second wind, we'll get some more heavies popping. It looks like all my heavies are pretty much fried. I'll drop a shock. Get those nasty doom cannons shocked. The main goal is to take out one. I don't know. I think I was stronger when I had five engine rooms. But Jimmy told me to upgrade, so that is why I did. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull off a dub. Let's take down that and let's drop a flare over. Perfect. We'll try to keep... Ah, oh, come on. Oh, that... Oh, dang it. I thought that was done and taken out. But I guess not. So let's flare to it. We'll try to take it out. Because if we can't take it out, we're screwed. Like, we have to take it out. So we might as well flare to it when we still have the Zookas to deal damage for us. Can't, come on. Take out all those nasty defenses. Then we'll drop a flare back. Nasty. This is nasty. We'll get a med kit down. We could stand out of range of cannons. I'm trying to find just like a dead spot we could camp on or something. But I have a feeling this mortar is going to be the death of me and take me out. Dang. We'll take out those two for sure. And then we'll have a couple left. This guy has been taking a while, so hopefully he hasn't defeated me. And he ended up failing. But, you know, we need the we need the, the engine rooms for my chest, which is stupid. Okay, little rant. And I said this last season, and I said this at the beginning of this season. There needs to be something... Okay, he retreated. Yes. There needs to be something for players at this top level that doesn't take half an hour to get a chest. Like, it takes so long. It's not half an hour. It takes 20 minutes to unlock one chest, which doesn't seem like a lot now that I'm saying it out loud but it'd be nice if it only took as long as it does when you're a lower level which is like two attacks or even when there was stars it seems like it was easier at this top level like you get on a losing streak which sucks but like you don't always defeat an engine room up this high so unlocking chests is definitely a pain and that's why warriors are gonna become such a good meta because you can rush to the back and I need to watch some videos from people who are up that high because I don't know what you're supposed to do with your warriors. Like, are you supposed to shock the Simos? Because everyone has Simos. 
And I, yeah, I just have to watch some strategy. But this guy had a good base design. I was able to take down one of his engine rooms, but I had the same strategy as him where we were dropping an engine room in the middle. Because what we're trying to do there is we're trying to trick the opponent into thinking, oh, I can take down that engine room. So they try to push for it, but that's like the worst spot to go for it. And that's kind of the strategy behind it. Because if they rush just to the back for the engine rooms, I mean, it's not that hard to destroy the opponent, like wipe him out. If you have, if you have um, the troop health and troop HP, it's not incredibly difficult. So I don't know. It's just going to be a lot more experimentation, seeing how will my base, how well my base matches up against players, and I'll probably have to redesign it. Once I get Simos, I have a feeling I'm not going to want to do it anymore, and I'll probably clump my defenses. But we might even get Simos in today's video, which would be super nice because those defenses are OP. Oh my gosh. Heck yes. I love this. Okay. This is a really good base design to attack. Yes. Oh man. I dropped my Grenadiers. Oh well. We're going to take out this rocket launcher. I'm at least going to be able to get two. Two engine rooms. Come on, man. Why are, you do why are you doing this? Why are you putting engine rooms on the edge? I'm happy. Because I'll be able to come up here and snake all of his defenses. But I have to make sure I shock the Simo. Because I think the Simo is going to try to target Dr. Kavan. Okay. We had Zookas in range. So we were fine. But in the future, Dr. Kavan needs to be protected. I think, yeah, I think it got one shot off on Dr. Kavan, which may have more HP, which may have less HP than my Zookas do. So we just have to watch that and make sure we don't screw up here. Let's activate Dr. Kavan again. We'll get that popping. We are moving forward on this guy. I doubt I'll be able to take down all of these engine rooms. Not all of them, but any more. But we're going to go for it. And we'll get our flare back and let's get away from that flotsam and then we'll flare so we, our heavies get back in order we'll get some zookas popping i think we'll get one more we might be able to make a push i still have a lot more zookas a lot more grenadiers i really like the way my my troops are lining up shot those those defenses over there this is going very very well i'm liking the way the cookie is crumbling guys Okay, he is same boat as me, crushing it. Drop a shock. That flotsam should take down all of my zukas or some of my zukas. Okay, we really need to take down this Simo. Can we take down the Simo? Yes. Okay, we'll flare back up. Get away, man. Get away. And that should be the dub. I don't see him beating me. There we go. Perfect. I don't know what he is doing. That's such a weak base design. Let's hopefully we can let's hope we can defeat him before he can defeat me. But that's a very, very weak base design. I don't know. Not my strategy I would do. Let's see where he's at. We finished at 145. Oh yeah, we crushed him. He started way before me. Did he go all grenadiers? I think he went all grenadiers. Which is fine, it just takes a really long time. And you need to have a decent base design that ensures that the other person won't take off their or all of your engine rooms if you're this person. But good job to him. We each got eight engine rooms close, not eight, I can't count. Six engine rooms closer to the chest, which is really sweet. And that's a nice way to start out the video. I know we... Did we win the first battle? Yeah, I think we won the first battle. Yeah, what am I talking about? Okay, we're on a win streak right now. Let's try to get this chest unlocked. And keep the winds flowing. Keep the winds flowing. What is up, people, man? Oh, he has five engine rooms. Where's his fifth?
I only count four. Oh, I can't count. Okay, I see it. Oh man, <laughs> Christian, you're you're tripping, man. Okay, I think I'm gonna go from the left hand side. I mean, there's benefits from just hitting from the bottom, but I think I'm gonna try to position myself up here and just walk down. That's probably the best the best plan at the moment. As for rocket launchers we need to take down, for sure this one. Two should do it, right? No? Okay. Some need some HP. Some HP up in here. Okay, and we'll drop That's gonna need two, which is gonna be more expensive than sixteen. So we'll just spend sixteen. Hopefully it takes it down. Nice. Dr. Kavan. The main thing is you do have to watch out for flotsams when you're using this combination. And as soon as it blows, you better drop a retreat. Or all of your zookas are gonna get fried. And Dr. Kavan always... Oh, dang it. I lost Dr. Kavan. No. Okay, we kept Dr. Kavan. I'm surprised. Dang it, that was so close. Okay. And of course, new, new hires up here go... And they run towards the flare because they're like, that's what we were told we were supposed to do, right? Try to get one more Dr. Can we get one more before he dies? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's gonna help. I think we'll lose anyway. I mean, not be able to three crown him or whatever. But we were able to wipe out his base. Dang it. Oh, man. Let's get a med kit down. Let's hope we can just take down one more. I get worried when they take down one and it takes them forever because it makes it seem like they're using all grenadiers. And I don't know the range of this doom cannon, but I think it is in range and it's going to hurt me. They're so bad aim. Oh, yeah, he's got me. Uh... That's the thing, is I'm not at that much of an advantage when I have six Indian rooms. I feel like I'm at a disadvantage. The advantage is I start with, okay, he is in range, and he is still attacking. The advantage is I start with one more engine room than my opponent. The disadvantage is, oh, he has got me. Good job, dude. The disadvantage is... I have six engine rooms and I don't have I have the same number of defenses as the other opponent at this first point and I will until I'm able to upgrade stuff which sucks um, and that puts me at a disadvantage it's very clear that like the line is very very blurry it's clear that it's not the same as last season because last season it was all about if you can get it as fast as possible for the most part but now that's not the case that's not the case at all and we took we took the loss I'm just trying to oh I should have dropped it on that oh no I don't think I'm gonna be able to take it down I'm just trying to get closer to my chest like I couldn't care less if we lose that's not true I like to win but it's not a big deal if we lose because I can't push up that high. Like, I'm not going to be able to make it to Legendary yet. And I'm really not going to go anywhere. So, the best I can do is try to get my chest. So, I'm just trying to get my chest, stay in Diamond League. That's all I really care about. And then, we'll just see where we go. So, yeah, I'm at a disadvantage until I can get Seamos for sure. And then it gets a little easier later on. But let's grab this chest that I was waiting for this entire time and I need to get one more to get myself CMOS. Okay, let's get some warriors upgraded. Get those popping and I also need to do I think I don't know if we have to do smoke. 8 seconds of smoke. The thing is is we can't tank shock mines. Okay. 
want to do my I don't want to do my first warrior attack now it's not a smart idea <laughs> so we'll hold off but I think I'm gonna go from this side from hmm this guy has a lot of HP on his buildings like an insane amount of HP which I'm very worried about and he retreated is he dropping I don't know what he's doing I think he barded down my engine room and just dealt a lot of damage on it and we should be able to deal more damage by just landing our troops I am I am ecstatic guys I'm really happy Wow that's nice okay we'll hopefully be able to take one engine room but even if we can't I mean, hopefully we get a dub, which I don't really care about, but again, <laughs> dub is a dub. See, a dub should get you closer to that chest. There needs to be a conversion rate between engine rooms. Like, if nobody destroys any engine rooms, then it still brings you closer to that, that beautiful dub, that beautiful chest, I mean. Simos suck. I hate Simos. Simos suck for so many reasons. <laughs> I don't hate a defense more than I hate Simos. It's especially bad when you're doing a high level Mega Crab attack. This wasn't last Mega Crab, but in the past, when you're doing a high level Mega Crab attack and you just get destroyed by a Simo you didn't see. Dr. Kavan, man, you're the man. You are the man. A couple of Zuka's gonna die. Or is he trying to hit my... He's hitting my Grenadiers. It looks like my Grenadiers have less HP than my Zuka's. That's good to know. I'm surprised. But that's really good to know. Yeah, the Doom Cannon's gonna come in range and take out some of my Zookas. Luckily, none of my Grenadiers. Well, let's see how much damage we can do. How much damage can we do to this base? And how close can we get to getting this next chest from this attack? I think I'm gonna call it quits after this attack. Probably be, I'll probably be waiting for a minute 30. So I hope you guys are enjoying the Warships videos. I know I said I wanted to make non-warships videos, but today was... I, I really wanted to make a warship video today. I had three chests, almost four. I'm not sure if I told you guys this, but I started full-time at a, um, like a financial firm doing software development work as an intern. Don't worry guys, not full-time, full-time. So I'm working like eight and a half hours in the day and then I usually come to the gym or I don't know why I say come to the gym. I usually go to the gym after that and lift and then I swim in the mornings so I get back at like 6 or 6 30 and then that's usually when I make videos so I hope you guys are enjoying it but that means I can't really attack in the morning because I'm getting up at really early and I can't really attack at work so really can't do anything about that so I get home and my chests have like two hours until I have four so I can just grind out warships and it's a lot of fun I'm really enjoying it okay Zookas will be way better and more grenadiers will be better than using artillery and barrages I feel like can we get one maybe it wasn't oh I should have just barred it down dang it but we got two we should have definitely got Ugh. Okay, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like as always. Let's see what this opponent did. Oh, yeah, he's definitely dropping in medals, not medals, rankings. He's trying to drop at least. Okay, I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm still pushing. 
I'm coming for you, Jimmy. I keep saying that every episode, but I'm getting closer. I'm not sure if he's upgrading warriors, but now is the time to do so. The warrior meta has come back from the very beginning, and now is the time. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys next time. I hope you guys did enjoy. Bye.